friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is a Friday, so it is weigh-in day. Let's talk about my week, my weigh-in, and the Weight Watchers workshop topic. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed, your bell notification is turned on because we do a weigh-in every Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. Highly, highly, highly recommend personalized macros and calories. This is how I've lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability, support, or to ask questions. Links and discounts to my favorite things are also down in that description box, as well as my Facebook group. Come join us there. We'd love to have you. So let's go ahead and jump into this week's weigh-in, how my week was, and the Weight Watchers workshop topic. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know that my beautiful, wonderful friend, Michelle, my Australian bestie, has officially moved to the United States. She won the green card lottery several months ago and has just in the last few weeks relocated from Sydney, Australia to Atlanta, Georgia. And back in November, she was here visiting and left a suitcase in our home so that she would have less to bring over from Australia when she moved to the US. So she is actually coming in just a couple of days on Sunday for almost a week to hang out with me and of course to pick up her suitcase. So with that being said, there will not be a weigh-in video next Friday because she will be here and we will be living our best life. We are spending some time in Phoenix. Definitely make sure you're in my Facebook group. You follow me on Instagram. I'll post lots of pictures and updates there for you guys. But just a reminder that there will not be a weigh-in next Friday, but all of the rest of my regular content will be up next week. So now let's talk about my week. You guys, I had such a good week. I had a really, really busy week. I've been doing a lot of pre-filming, pre-editing, just gearing up for Michelle to be here. I wanted to make sure that I cleared my schedule, of course, to spend as much time with her as possible. So this week, not only did I work a lot, but I also went to boot camp. I did miss Monday because it is officially monsoon season here. In fact, it's rained almost every day this last week, which we need the rain, I'm not complaining, but we were rained out on Monday. So I actually went to the gym, did the elliptical, lifted weights, still got in a really good workout. And then I was able to go to boot camp the rest of the week, go to the gym. I also played pickleball. I have just been very active and that really has helped me decompress with all the working that I've been doing to get caught up and ready for Michelle's arrival and to make sure that I still can put out all of my regular content for you guys. Really truly working out and exercising helps me decompress not to mention just makes me feel better overall. I've been really working on cleaning up my diet. I talked about that in what I eat in a day a couple weeks ago. I'm really focusing more on whole real food, which to be honest with you, has not only made me feel better, my gut health is better, my workouts are better. I just feel better overall. I'm less sluggish. I don't have as many sugary cravings. I don't have as many junk food cravings throughout the day. I'm not getting that afternoon crash. I mean, really, truly just choosing better foods. About 80% of my diet has really helped me in so many ways. So I've been really focusing on that this week and making sure that I have good, whole, healthy foods on hand. I'm just feeling really good body, mind, and soul, which makes me super happy. I definitely want to share this week's weigh-in with you, but before we, but before I do, let's talk about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. And that is can't fall back to sleep. Try this 20 minute rule. I talk about sleep a lot. You guys know I take still a sleep supplement every night. I've said time and time again that I can fall asleep but I can't stay asleep. I wake up, my mind starts moving, and then I feel like I need to get up and do things at one in the morning. So this workshop topic is really helpful if you have a hard time getting back to sleep or falling asleep when you first hit the sack. Try this, get out of bed, go into another room or space that's dimly lit, quiet, and comfortable. Set it up ahead of time so it's ready when needed. Number two, do something calming. Whatever you choose, keep the lights low and the electronics off. Listen to a sleep story podcast. Do a jigsaw puzzle. List three things you're grateful for. Focus on your breathing. Read a slow-paced book or flip through a catalog. Then start to notice when you get sleepy. Are your eyelids heavy? Can you not concentrate anymore? It's time to go back to bed and repeat. If you haven't dozed off, 
after another 20 minutes, start over with step one. This might seem a little odd to get out of bed when you're trying to fall asleep, but really, truly, these tactics work. I have done this several times. I've actually went out on the couch, laid there for a few minutes in the dark, just eyes closed, just trying to decompress and relax. And then once I actually go back to bed, I can easily fall asleep. You can utilize these tips before you go to bed or if you wake up in the middle of the night and can't fall back asleep. Changing the scenery and really just focusing on something other than the fact that you can't fall asleep is really beneficial to actually help you get to sleep. Oh, and side note, don't sit there and watch the clock for the 20 minute mark to pass. You may get up a few times, especially in the beginning. You may need only 10 minutes or you may need 25 minutes. So don't focus on the clock. Focus more on how you feel and if your body is finally ready to go to sleep. Seven to nine hours of sleep is recommended every night. This lowers your risk of a lot of health related diseases. It also lowers your risk of weight gain due to choosing unhealthy foods the next day. Because remember when we are tired, our body wants energy and our body knows that energy comes quickly from sugary foods and processed carbohydrates. So that's what our body's going to crave if we are lacking sleep. Get on a sleep schedule and again, shoot for seven to nine hours every single night. I also do want to share, as always, three fast facts from Weight Watchers with you. Number one, the majority of adults report a sleep problem every night or almost every night. Number two, healthy sleep makes it easier to eat well, move regularly, and have a more helpful mindset. And number three, planning ahead for what you'll do when you have trouble sleeping can help you fall back asleep more quickly and easily. Fail to plan, plan to fail. This even matters with sleep. So I think these tips are great. Like I said, I've utilized a lot of these strategies in my own life. For me, I don't have a hard time falling asleep. It's the staying asleep that's an issue for me. And I know firsthand that these tips and tricks work. So if you're in the same boat as me, definitely take advantage of this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. So now let's talk about my weigh-in. Like I said, I've really been whole food focused. I've been moving my body. I talked a few weeks ago about how my weight changes throughout my hormones changing, ovulation, starting my cycle. Right now I'm in the midst, midst of ovulation. Now typically for me, ovulation time means a spike on the scale. Not always, sometimes more prior to ov ovulation or at the end of ovulation, right before I become my leanest, before I start my cycle. And right now I'm kind of in the middle of ovulation. This month I didn't notice that big weight spike. Now I do always have weight fluctuations. I weigh myself every day and my weight does this. That is very, very normal. It doesn't mean I'm gaining weight. It's simply a weight fluctuation. Last week I actually maintained my weight to the ounce and this week my weight is actually up 0.6. To me, that is a maintenance. That's a weight fluctuation. I'm okay with that. Because I weigh myself every day, I see those fluctu fluctuations. And actually there were a few days this week that I was at my leanest I've been in a long time. And then my weight just kind of pop back, pops back up those few ounces. It could be multiple things. It could be water retention. For me, it typically is hormonal or because I'm sore from working out. I've been way more active lately and that's going to lead to some weight fluctuations. So 0.6 to me, I'm considering that a maintenance. I'm happy with that. I am currently trying to maintain my weight as I continue to heal from my cosmetic surgery, see what my body does over the next few months. And with Michelle being here, I basically consider that kind of like a mini vacation and I don't track my food on vacation, so I won't be tracking while my friend Michelle is here. I'll be mindful, I'll be focusing on protein, but I'm gonna enjoy my time with her and I'm going to enjoy all the fun foods that we're going to try out. For her, there's a lot of different foods in the US than Australia, so we're gonna wanna try those out when she's here visiting. So I'm looking forward to seeing what the next two weeks bring as far as weigh-in goes, because as a reminder, there will not be a weigh-in next Friday. So the following Friday will actually be a two-week weigh-in. Post little mini vacation and gearing up for another little trip that I have planned mid September. So I'm happy with my 0.6 gain. I'm happy with what I consider to be a maintenance. And now I want to hear from you guys. How was your week? How was your weigh-in? What do you think about this taking this 20 minutes to really get into a healthy sleep pattern? Let me know everything down below. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a future video. Don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite healthy things. Come join my Facebook group, follow me on Instagram. I'll be posting lots of pictures when my friend Michelle is here and I will see you guys in tomorrow's massive stock up grocery haul. Bye.